that um, uh, rebel without a pause and restraint and restraint reflections of 9/11, uh, and obviously that inspired you September 11th, and that and that that premiered at the Toronto Film Festival. It did. That movie premiered here one year on September 11th, 2002. 2002. It was it was a wonderful. We got a wonderful, wonderful reception. And I was so grateful to Toronto for the reception they gave that movie because in the States people were having a hard time um, because it's got comedy in it. It's a, it's a very interesting performance. Now now people can watch it, but in New York they, didn't, they couldn't watch it. They, it. It was very tricky. It was very emotional. And then it won a prize. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Peace and Liberty. Yeah. Right. It's a beautiful prize to get yeah. for that. Yes. Yes. So, so, the, so your your home country had a difficult time with it because you, it, it's infused with some humor and yeah. Actually, it's not, not even New York had such a hard time. The rest of the they, we couldn't find places to um, to show it. I think because um, people couldn't articulate yet what they were feeling, and what they didn't understand is that the movie's about not being able to articulate what right. which happened right after that happened. So, it, it, it's a movie that uh, when people the people who did see it actually helped them kind of process stuff. Um, but but it was a tough movie um, to deal with in terms of just like advertising it or whatever. So I am so grateful for Toronto. I always love coming here anyway, but that really sealed my relationship with this city because you guys yeah, were wonderful. <laughs> that. What what um, what was the genesis of, of you in terms of just conceptualizing that, thinking about doing something around that in the way that you did. Well, that movie was actually a gift given to me because um, the the movie basically is a do a documentation of this show, this one woman show that my friend Reno did did. did. Uh, what happened was that she was supposed to be doing this. You know, she does these little. She's kind of political and really funny. And <coughs> can't call her a stand-up comic because she gets mad, but uh, it's really, she does this really great, um, very funny, but very observant um, pieces about whatever is current at the time. And at that point, she was getting ready to do a piece about the gentrification of her neighborhood in Tribeca, and uh, she was getting all ready to do that, and then she woke up the morning of September 11th, and she lived uh, probably like 10 blocks away from the World Trade Center. So, she was supposed to do her show like in a couple of weeks and she found she couldn't even talk. She couldn't get on stage, she couldn't do anything. And they really asked me, said, please, you know, everyone is kind of so freaked out in New York, we really just want to give people something to come to or do. Can you just show up and go on stage and do something? And we know actually is a great improvisational. So she got up on stage and she started talking about what happened to her the day of September 11th. And that's what this movie's about. And it's a, I think it's like on Netflix and stuff now, but um, I went to see that show not knowing what I was going to get. Kind of a little upset that she was taking this on because I know Reno can be funny. And I thought, that's a, not, that's a weird thing to do as a subject matter. And I went more as a friend but not ready to laugh at anything. And it was the most incredible evening that I had. It was one of the first times we went out after the event. This was happening like a few weeks later. And I never laughed or cried so hard as I did with that thing. And that's when we, Rich and I both turned together after it was over and said we got a sheet it, and we did. That's great. Yeah. How many people have seen the book? It's pretty much out there. You will look at it. I'll have to take a look at it. I mean, we're looking at it from you next time. Yeah. Dirt. I noticed that there's a, 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 a it, between between reflections on September 11th and there, there is a you 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 deal with issues close at home, right? So you're like yeah. very much a New Yorker, very much you know. Yeah. You know when you look at you look at you know cultural issues and, and yeah, I, I t you know I, I teach um, I teach uh, screenwriting classes and directing classes and it's really fun to be able to say. Uh, the things that I've come to realize over the years, because you know, you walk in to do a job like this, and you don't. Sometimes it's by falling down that you learn, or by going through an ordeal that you learn. But one of the things that I've learned is that I'm very attracted to things that are emotionally autobiographical for me, but not necessarily my life. Um, and I always realize that you know, Dirt is a movie about uh, an undocumented Salvadoran cleaning woman. And, and it's got a bit of comedy in it, but there's also, it's like we call it the tragic comedy. 
And um, that movie, obviously, it's not my life, but there are things that that woman goes through that I really can understand or empathize with. And that's the kind of thing that I always tell my students when they're researching or when they're looking for that passion project. They said, find, I will tell them, like, find a project that you're going to want to live with for a while, because it's always hard to get a movie made. But also that is connected to you, and it doesn't have to exactly be your life, but there's just that emotional connection is going to get you through from the first inkling of that idea until the day that you present it to an audience. You really need to find what it is that's going to, it's, there's a connection that has to happen between you and the project. So they all kind of feel like they have something to do with me, even though I can tell you that most of this is not no, biographical, yeah. but there's a connection. I'm interested in all of those things that go on in those movies. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you.